Normally when I say something should take a few hours, it's at least two, three days. So 50-50. Welcome back to Deer Valley Homestead with me, Andy. This week we are talking drainage. As it happens, I'm installing all four kinds of drainage. So I figured I might as well go through it. This area is our retaining wall and we have a huge amount of watershed to deal with here. The whole roof comes down through this area. So if we don't take care of it properly, it will always be very wet. We also get a lot of rain here. And this is one big slope that all comes down here to the retaining wall. And all of that water needs a space to run away to. We also have a very clay-like soil here. And of course that holds water like crazy. So the better we do the drainage, the better chance you have of this retaining wall staying upright during the winter. There are four kinds of drainage that we're gonna look into today. The first one is subsurface, which is going behind the retaining wall. The second one is surface, which is also going behind the retaining wall. And then we're gonna look at the downspout, which currently we don't have, and the slope drainage, which is everything that comes off the roof. I'm gonna go into more details in all of those shortly, but first I'm gonna to get to work. Now, what I really wanted to be doing today was actually the concrete block, the cinder blocks on here. That was the plan. I came and got everything ready yesterday. I couldn't start it yesterday because it was Sunday and it's like a no noise rule here and everyone was obeying it. Normally I wait for someone to start cutting grass and then I just, you know, join in. Yesterday, nobody made a noise the whole day. So, but the reason I can't do it today is that tonight is due to be frosty. Last night was frosty, tonight is due to be frosty. And I mean, it really doesn't feel like it should be frosty tonight. I mean, a t-shirt, it's nearly 20 degrees, but it was the same yesterday and it was frozen this morning when I got up, so. So currently this downspout has just been dribbling down, making a big mess of the floor. There was a drain here. I had to take it out the other day when I did the foundation for the retaining wall. Hopefully by the end of today, that will be back. But there's been problems with this for a lot longer than just since I took it out. The original one was not catching all of the water. And you may notice we stood on a slope and the whole slope comes downhill and into the barn. And there's been two places in here where the water has been damaging everything. And one of them is down here. This is about two meters inside the barn and the water has been getting this far and then disappearing down underground. Now there is this concrete wall and this old retaining wall and somehow it's been getting down and underneath these two and then out. That of course is a terrible thing. It's washing out any soil that might be down there. And the second one is down here. All the water that's been coming down this hill previously it can't now because there's a huge pile of soil in the way. But it's all been running down here, hitting up against this wall, coming to the low spot which was here and here, and again disappearing down underneath this wall. And the other side of this wall is open. There is another room underneath this barn. I believe this in particular is what caused the failure of this wall and is causing the failure of the other wall at the end of the barn. So the goal is to stop any water from coming inside this barn, of course. Any barn built on a hillside, you don't really want water flowing underneath it. It's just a bad idea. Now, just in case you're wondering, Andy, you haven't finished the retaining wall. Why are you putting all the drainage in now? I'm doing it because of the weather forecast. Today and tomorrow are sunny. The next five days after that are rain. And in particular, the first day could be up to six centimeters, two inches of rain. And if that much rain falls, there's gonna be some flowing water here one way or another and I would really like to get as much of it as possible away from the retaining wall. The first thing I have to figure out is where to actually put this drain because it used to come down right in the middle of this doorway. I want to be able to bring the grass cutter and all of that equipment in here and I need a nice wide entrance for that. So that position doesn't work. The next problem I have is this window is directly underneath it so I can't just bring it straight down because it would be right in front of the window and we'd end up with a window we can't open. I appreciate there's not actually a window there at the moment, there's just a big hole, but one day there will be a window back there. What I have are these tiny little metal screws and that's gonna be enough to hold it on together and then I'll put a few brackets on it.
All right, well, of course, I could not film a video without doing some digging. So it's time to dig. I have laid out all of the pipe where I want it to go, just to make sure that I have all the pieces that I need and all that kind of stuff. And here's the basic idea. we we'll come down from the downspout. The extra piece of pipe is there. Then we'll go into this, which is a, I don't know what you call it, downspout drain, filter, something. So it will come in through the top, and of course I'll cut that to the right size at some point. It's through here, so there's a filter in case it's full of leaves. All of that rubbish out through the bottom. That will come along and join into this pipe here which will then go along the side here and down over the end. Complete change of plans, as always when I'm doing this kind of stuff. I was planning to put the French drain in today and the pipework in today, and I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I was doing it because of the weather forecast. There's a, there was, this is why the plan changed. There was a frost warning in effect for tonight and they're saying it's going to be two degrees or above, which is still not perfect, but I'm going to go ahead and put the next layer of block on, and I'm going to do the next piece of foundation here and bury the block into that. I am then going to cover it with plastic. Tomorrow is due to be another beautiful hot day, and then tomorrow I can work on the drains, and that way I'm not putting something in that I'm going to have to take out or rearrange, adjust, or any of those things. So I think it's going to work better for me. We'll see if it's a mistake or not in the morning. When either it's frosty or it's not. All right, good morning team. Yesterday I promised you four kinds of drainage and instead of drainage, I put in another load of brick and another foundation. It's just the way it went. Today, I'm gonna to promise you drainage and hopefully deliver on it. We've got a French drain going in, we've got a roof drain going in, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I don't claim it's the right way, it's just the way that I do it. So from this corner here all the way along, we will have our French drain, and that will drop down to a T and go out. There will be another French drain in the bottom there. On top of that, we need the drain for this downspout. There's supposed to be some pretty heavy rain tomorrow, so it's pretty important that I get this in. And that will come down and follow the same path. Another T at the bottom, connecting to the drain coming from the other direction. And that's about it. That will go out into the open. You can see I've laid out some of the pieces ready. Most important thing is just to make sure it's all on a slope all the way along. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put some weed fabric down all the way along. It's like a non-waterproof membrane. And then I will put some gravel on that. I will grade the gravel, make sure it's as flat as possible. 
uh, as flat as possible with a hill at this side, of course, with this side being higher, and then all the way along and out. All right, this is the first section that I'm gonna work on. This is the fabric I've gone with. It's just a normal weed fabric. It is non-waterproof, non-woven. I would have liked to go with something a little bit better, to be honest, but this is what was available. So this is what I've got. This goes in all the way along and goes along the bottom and up against the soil. And the idea is that this will filter out some of those particles which you're gonna go through and try to block all the slots on the pipe. I'm going to leave a little bit extra because... Hey, what would you know? I'm just going to put enough to hold it, you know? Of course, the only roll available was 50 meters, and I need about 20, but there is somewhere else where I will need a French drain in the future, so. First one is pretty short. Sure. All right, so down in here with the black against the black in the shade, we have three pipes that need to be joined. And the way I'm gonna do this is just with one of these, a Y fitting. They do make a nice black T1. Uh, that would probably have been even cheaper, but they didn't have it in stock when I was there. And this is gonna work just as well. I'm actually gonna hold these pipes in place with black tape which is probably not the right thing to do, but I figure by the time it rots away, however long that takes, it's gonna be so held in place by the gravel anyway that it's not gonna matter. Our one pipe, which will go in all the way up to the top up there. That one comes down behind here at the bottom of the wall. We have our second pipe, which comes all the way from where you've seen us working in the last couple of days, along the bottom of this wall. They will go down and join together and that will come out down here, basically on a little spillway. Of course, when I get around to doing the rest of the wall or whatever happens down here, then I might join that into that or I might put it through the wall. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what happens on that one. I will try and get a camera angle of this, but it's black pipe on black cloth in the shade. So 
50-50 on if you get to see anything at all. So far enough in. Don't need it to hold permanently, just need it to hold till the gravel holds it. Alright, well it's in there, not that you can see much, it's dark and black on black, but that's in there. I'm gonna work on this pipe, make sure this one has a nice fall to it. It needs to be a little bit tighter as well. Let's see if we can't get this forward in. Okay. They didn't have any of the caps for the end of this, so I just bought these. That's as close as it gets. And just stop the gravel getting in there. It's not perfect, but again, it's what was available on the day. I had checked the ground here, but we have just a very slight rise all the way along. This is not a pipe like a traditional pipe that water flows through. What this does is stop there being a buildup of water at the bottom. So the water does always have a way out, but you'll notice that it has the holes on the top and on the bottom. So there will still always be water down here when it's wet anyway. It's going to do for now. Well, that was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought the pipe was going to keep trying to lift up. But as soon as I got a little bit of weight on it, it stayed down. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to work my way along. Just making sure that that pipe stays very slightly pointed downhill. So what I should be doing here is using a silicon based lubricant to help put these pipes together. Unfortunately the only thing I had was WD-40 and of course anything oil based is going to mess around with the seals in these pipes. So we're sticking with dish soap. It's the best lubricant I could think of that wouldn't damage the rubber. Not the correct thing but it is what's getting used. You just saw me cut this pipe. I cut this end because it was already just a little bit sun damaged. This is the old pipe that was here before and I figured why not reuse it. So I cut this with just a fine tooth saw and I just chamfered the edges a little bit with the, uh, with the metal file. Again, if you have the option, use the proper stuff, silicon based lubricant. Unfortunately, Oh, I don't have that option. Am I even on? Nope. That was a lot harder to get on than it should have been. And that's my fault. I don't have the right lubricant. Alright. I'm going to put this all together, roughly. And then I'm going to have to re-dig just a little bit. Just to make sure we get that slope and that this end here isn't too high because at the moment it's too high
All right, we're in. Okay, that one. See if we can find the right position. Get it to point the right way. And dig a little bit there. Going the right way. Okay, it's got a good drop. Needs to be just a little bit. Yeah. About this way. Perfect. All right, well, it's definitely not pretty, but it's gonna work. Our drain pipe is in. Across the other side. Our drain pipe is in, the downspout is in. It looks horrendously unlevel, but it actually is level. It's away from the wall just in case, well, for sure, at some point we're going to repair the wall, maybe even add a small layer of insulation. So just keep it a little bit further out. This is only going to be put in with some dirt, so it's going to be pretty loose. So it's not a big deal. Uh, for me to dig it up in the future if I need to. It just needs to be there. And in, and all the way to the end. I'm going to bury this bit now, because in my mind it's going to help me when I get to the end. And I'm also going to start putting the gravel all the way down here. Now I appreciate that this will look very, very close to the surface. And that's true for now, but there will be quite a big cap going on here. So it will actually be, you know, that much underneath. I'm going to work on the other end. Good. That's one. A lot harder than it needed to be. I suspect that if I had the correct uh, lubricant, it would probably be quite easy. But I didn't buy that, so it's my fault. Okay, get me out of the way. One's up there, good. Okay, there, just a little bit. It's definitely too long. that work. Okay, so I should get this one the right left. And I think I can try and be clever about it. Let's see what happens. If I measure from the bottom to the bottom, 31 centis 
think if I cut 31 centimeters off the other one, we should be pretty close. All right, let's hope for some miracles here. Because these have not been easy so far. Really should have bought that fluid. Okay. When you get the right angle, it's pretty easy. When you don't have the right angle, don't waste your time. Well, I'm fairly sure most people knew that. thought it. That was the easiest one. All right, pipe is in. Got one more down here to do. So that's the pipe that's coming out from behind the wall and I'm going to attach this two meter pipe on this elbow. It's more of a temporary thing, it's not going to be here forever um, but it gives me options when I come to fix the rest of this wall. How to connect on, do I put it out through the wall do I put it out through the bottom? What do I do? So that's that. And that pipe just drains out and it's going to splash out down there in the garden somewhere just a couple of meters away from the wall. Not that it makes a huge difference because the whole barn here doesn't have any gutter. So all of the rain is falling right here next to this wall which I suspect may have something to do with why it's failing anyway so quick check with the level tells me that we have a good amount of fall on the pipe so this bit is going to work fine now we checked the top part already it's buried so we know that part is running downhill and i can see it by eye but just for your benefit I put the level on here as well and you can see that that is nicely running down as well just need to move this French drain a tiny bit. Throw some gravel in all the way along here. And we will call that job done on this wall for the drainage for now. Of course, when I build the next part, I will extend the pipe up and I will extend the French drain as well. It's difficult to say if anything is actually going to go into this pipe, this orange pipe up here. But I have one drain on the corner of the building that I need to get rid of somewhere. So I'm thinking that maybe comes underground down here. I'm not 100% sure. But I wanted to have the option in the future. Maybe that the weather closes in before I get that done. All right, team. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the correct tools here to cut this to fit. So what I'm going to do is just stick this down spike into the orange drain pipe into there. I've left the basket in so that it can hopefully catch some of the leaves if anything does come down there. And that is going to get rid of all the water. As you know, it comes down under here. I have filled in most of the gravel on this French drain. I still need to put the concrete inside the wall so that's why I've not gone any higher I've just done the very lowest level but just enough to hold the pipes in place I will come here tomorrow when it's raining heavy if it rains heavy and grab a video of everything just to see how it's working eventually of course this gravel will come up another two layers the dirt will come in against it and this wall will be full of concrete for now, we're in a position where we're not going to have any problems with the weather. Any water that does come down here 
it's going to go through this fabric into that fringe drain and out. Any water that hits the roof is going to come down the drain pipe, drink underground and be spit out about two meters the other side of that wall. I'm going to spend the next hour or two cleaning up because I have left stuff absolutely everywhere. There are piles of rubbish, piles of metal, piles of plastic, piles of wood, you name it. That's not that interesting, so I'm not going to show you that. But for now, I guess we're maybe a quarter or a third of the way through this project. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I am a very small channel, so every comment counts. Have a good time.